With this release of software, we see further enhancements to the interoperability between Radan 3D and Rudbend. And basically what we've done is we've built in some associativity between the part and the tooling. So once a component has been tooled in Radbend, if changes happen within Radan 3D, then the tooling will automatically update once back into Radbend. Now again, it makes good sense for me to just demonstrate this. So let's have a look. Okay, to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a simple model in Radan 3D. And we'll add a few simple flanges to the back of this base plate. And we'll say that uh, we'll make this one maybe 50 mil and apply. And the same here, apply. We'll maybe make this one a 25 mil flange. And let me just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I'll place a 25 mil flange here. And then finally one here. Okay, so we've got our, our model. What we want to do now is, is pass that through to Radbend. So um, we're in Radbend and we'll just have a quick look at our model. Let's choose a press break, apply some tooling and some finger stops. And I'll very quickly run the simulation so you can see if we can actually fold this component. And it all looks to be okay here. We're folding that okay and there you go. So that's that component folded. I'm now going to go back to the model in Radan 3D and I'm going to make an edit. So I'm going to click on my base plate. Let's come in here, edit the base plate. Let's change the length of that from 100 to say 500. So quite a substantial change in, in, in size of that component. Now ordinarily I would have to go back and retool that in Radbend. But now with this release of software, it senses that that part has already been tooled in Radbend and is asking me if I want to update it parametrically. So if I now return to Radbend, you'll see that the tooling has parametrically updated. We've now got a longer set of tooling, the parts updated, so I don't have to go through the process of retooling that. And what we can do, just run a, a simulation on that one, and you'll see that we're able to now tool that same part with much longer tooling. So that's a, a, an associativity between Radbend and Radan 3D, which allows the editing of parametric components very quickly and very easily without the need to have to rerun the tooling process in Radbend.